What's up everybody? Today I want to talk to you about Payload's MCP plugin. So MCP, or Module Context Protocol, is just a fancy word for a standard that allows your Payload app to talk to external tools or platforms like AI. It creates a bridge between the two to talk to each other in a secure and efficient way. So I'm going to jump right in here. I'm not going to go through each step of how to set up the plugin. The docs do a very good job of that. You should be able to get up and running in a few minutes. So I'm using Cursor. I've got our MCP plugin installed. I've got our MCP server up and running. And you can see I have four tools already available to me. Um, you get update posts, find posts, update categories, and find categories. So, and that is all controlled right here. So you give the plugin access to whatever collections you want to interact with and what you want to be able to do. So you could take this a step further, use payloads access control to make it so that only certain roles are allowed to find and update. So say you're performing actions from the chat, right? You don't want somebody to go in a non-content editor, for example, and say, update the title on all of these blog posts and screw up all your posts, right? So you can lock that down. And similarly, the API key collection that you get when you install this app is right here. By default, if you don't have roles or access control on your user collection, anyone that has an account in your payload app is going to be able to see all of them right here, right? So what we did is took that a little step further. We made it so that non-admins will not be able to see that entire collection. And then admins can see all keys and then non-admins will only see their key. So that is controlled by a little custom component that I built here. And I'll share this repo so you guys can pull this down. If you want to play with it this way, poke around. Um, it's a nice little way to kind of keep things locked down if you're going to leverage this plugin. And so it just, it's fairly straightforward. Just fetches the API key and puts it right here in this little custom component and keeps things nice and tidy. But let's check out what this can actually do. So let's just start with the easy stuff. Let's just say, Find me three posts. So it's going to go through and do its thing. User is asking me to find three posts. So it ran that tool. And then look at that. I've got three, three posts. Pretty, pretty awesome. So let's update one of those, right? So let's just say Please change the title of Quantum Safe Crypto to Quantum Safe Crypto Currency. Now, I'll show you those. I've got 10 dummy posts right here. Right now, it's Quantum Safe Crypto. And we're going to ask it to update the title for us. All right, so it's going to go through, do its thing. Perfect. Updated the title. Let's go check it out. Boom. Done. So now it's quantum safe cryptocurrency. So that's just a very, very bare bones example of what you can do with this. Um, you could take this a step further. And if you see, I've got no categories on here right and that's not good for your blog post that's going to hurt your seo well please use keywords to assign a category to each blog post i don't know if this is going to work i have not tried this but 
Let's find out. Seems to be working so far. So it just took the context of what we were working on, obviously. Those three posts I asked it to find before. But it should have updated those three and added a category to them. Boom! That's pretty cool. So not only did it add a category, it added multiple categories. So it read through and it added technology and finance to Quantum Safe Crypto. So pretty awesome. Um, download the plugin, get it installed in your app, see what you guys can come up with. We want to see it. I uh, hope this was helpful and thanks for using Payload.